What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part five of my flippin' awesome tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a step back uh, from our actual programming in Android Studios and focused on an application called Tiled. Now, Tiled is a orthogonal uh, tiled map editor, and we're going to be using that to create the first level of Super Mario Brothers for our game. So the first step, go to mapeditor.org and go ahead and download Tiled, and then we're going to get started. So once you have downloaded and installed Tiled, you're going to be presented with a screen that looks similar to this. What I want you to do is go ahead and click on this button right here or go to File and New. You're going to create a new map uh, called uh, with orientation of orthogonal. Uh, the tile layer you can leave the same. We'll do a write down render order. The tile width that we're going to use is 240 tiles by 13 tiles high and the width uh, will be 16 pixels by 16 pixels and then you're going to go ahead and click OK. So now we're going to take a real quick look at uh, tile sets and a tile set is basically a set of images or textures uh, for any given level or game and stuff like that. Going to spriters-resource.com um, and searching for NES and Mario Brothers, you can see the tile set for Super Mario Brothers. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded this sheet. I've edited a little bit, but I'll post my edit um, in the source code so you guys can check it out. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to tiled and you're going to go, if you don't see this tile sets right here, you'll go to view, uh, views and toolbars and click on tile sets. What you're going to do is click on new right there. We're going to click our source file. Um, here, this is the original, um, but we're going to use my tile set underscore gutter dot PNG. Click OK here. You're going to set the tile width to uh, 16 pixels, the tile height to 16 pixels, the margins uh, for each tile is one pixel, and the spacing of each tile is two pixels. Then you're going to go ahead and click OK. And now we have basically imported our tile set into, wow, I can't click this. I'm going to click it. It's going to happen. There we go there a little bit okay so now scrolling down here you can see we've imported our entire tile set uh, into tiled so now that we have our tile set um, i'm going to show you what these layers are over here if we right click on here you can see that we can create three different types of layers an image layer i don't really use it's basically just a static image that will overlay all your grid um, but the most important thing for our game is a tile layer and an object layer. A tile layer is what we're going to be use, uh, we're going to use to draw our game, okay? All the different uh, textures will be done on a tile layer. An object layer is uh, basically invisible polygon or circle, you know, shapes inside of our game that will be invisible, but we can reference uh, via programming from our game and we're going to use objects uh, to do collision for our game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this tile layer to background. We're going to create a new uh, tile layer called graphics. We're going to create a new object layer called the ground. Another object layer called pipes. Another object layer called coins and another object layer called bricks. And there'll be more, but we're gonna start with that. In our background layer, we can go down to our tile set and select the sky color here, just click on it. And then you can grab the uh, paint bucket here to fill. So, oops, I need to select this. Now I can go over here. Okay, so make sure you're clicked on the background layer when you do that. Now let's go to the graphics layer, and this is where we're going to actually start drawing our game. So we'll grab a brick here, and get off the paint bucket here, go to the stamp, and what we can do is just individually go uh, across here and create our ground. Now, um, I'm not going to do create the whole world here. This would take too long. Um, I will give you all the source code or the files for the entire world. But let me show you some basic things that we're going to be doing here. Um, so that is going to be the ground. 
So um, we're gonna go to the ground layer here. This is an object layer. And what we're gonna do is use a polygon rectangle shape to surround our ground with. Um, holding control will snap to uh, the grid. And so now we've created a um, object layer around our ground. This is what inside of our actual game uh, Mario will be colliding with is this object layer. We're gonna forget about the tiles. Those will just be graphical representations of the ground. What he's actually gonna be colliding with is the object layer large rectangle. The reason we do this is that trying to move an object over um, individual tiles, um, even though they're connected, um, sometimes you'll get little collisions um, with box 2D over um, uh, separated tiles that you don't get when you have one large object tile that it can just run across. It doesn't have to figure out the physics about where those two uh, tiles connect. Sometimes it gets stuck in between those. So after a little bit of time, I've uh, done a little research and uh, checked out the actual World 1 of Mario, and I feel like I've come pretty close to a perfect representation of that game in Tiled. Um, I've surrounded every bit of the ground with... Uh, a uh, rectangle shape on the ground layer. I've selected, uh, surrounded every pipe with a rectangle shape in the pipes layer. Uh, likewise with every brick in the brick layer and every coin uh, individually in the coin layer. And I should mention that uh, in large amounts of bricks, um, you don't want to do it similarly to the ground where you select it, it, it completely. Uh, you're going to want to do it each individual brick because when we collide with it, we want to know exactly which brick it is so we can uh, blow it up basically when Mario hits it with his head. So you're going to want to do each brick individually, each coin individually. You can do the pipes in one big rectangle and the ground, of course, in one big rectangle. So before I sign off, I just want to show y'all one more time uh, this game world. We've got the pipes, the ground, the background, the clouds, the hills, the castle, and the flagpole. Um, all the different little obstacles that you have to jump over. Make sure that those aren't uh, covered in rectangle uh, ground uh, layers. Um, and so, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, we're going to be putting all the source code and resources in the description below. Uh, so check that out. But I do want to encourage you to check out Tiled on your own. Play around with it. Learn it. Um, make your own maps because at the end of this series, you'll be able to uh, do all kinds of stuff. Uh, with this map editor. Uh, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. But most importantly, please share this video if you liked it. Uh, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.